Hey, this is Daz from the Frugal Gaming website and I am back with another review. This time it's another one of our non-gaming tech reviews and I'm going to be checking out the St. Pete's Q12 Bluetooth earphones. Now there's so many products like this on places like Amazon that it's hard to actually know what is worth the money and what isn't. So my aim with these reviews is just to check out as many of these products as I can to find out what is actually worth the money. So I've been sent these by St. Pete's to check out. As you can see on Amazon they are currently £20. The full price is just under £60. So £20 seems like a good price but as always we're here to find out if they're actually worth the money. So let's take a little look at what you get inside the box. You get a couple of leaflets, one of them being the instruction leaflet giving you a quick guide on how to set up the earphones. Now the earphones all come, also come presented in this pretty cool hard case that once you unzip has got a couple of compartments inside. Um, one of the compartments you can store the earphones and the other will store any spare earbuds or wingtips. Um, you also get the mini USB cable for charging and you also get a selection of wind tips and earbuds to make sure you get that perfect fit. In addition to the wing tips and the earbuds, you also get a line buckle and a wire clamp. Now you can use these to adjust the fit of the wire, so if you want to use them as a really tight fit around the back of the head, you can do so. These are highly recommendable when you're using them in the gym or for any rigorous training. My main concern when it comes to earbud style earphones is being able to keep them in my ears and getting a good fit. It's all about getting the perfect seal to make sure you get the best sound possible and you don't want them popping out every five minutes. And with this set you get enough of a selection to make sure you can get a really good fit. So I was really pleased when I tried them and I've had no issues with them staying in. So when it comes to the appearance I think these look really nice. They definitely don't look like a £20 set of earphones and in fact I think they look a lot like the Jaybird X2s and that's pretty impressive considering the Jaybirds cost over £100 more. You also get this really cool magnetic feature so when you're not using them you can just store them round your neck without the worry of them falling off. Now I used these to jog to the fridge and back when I wanted my Tesco's Extra Value Trifle and at no stage did I feel like I was going to lose them. The earphones also has an inline remote control which incorporates the volume buttons and the play pause button. They also have a section where you can plug in your mini USB cable to charge them and this also houses the mic. Products like this usually come with a really crappy mic but in this one I was pretty impressed with how good they actually sounded. I made a few phone calls and people said that I sounded pretty clear which is even more impressive considering this is a Bluetooth product as well. So when it comes to my overall opinion on how these actually look I think they are very nice looking for the money. They definitely don't look like a £20 set of headphones, the material doesn't look cheap, they don't look poorly manufactured. And if I had to take a guess and I didn't know how much they cost, I'd say they were worth in the region of 60 to 80 pounds. So let's get to the most important part, how these actually sound. Now these have 4.1 Bluetooth connectivity, so the connection itself is a very good quality. The range on them isn't the greatest I've ever had from a Bluetooth product, but it's perfectly acceptable. Now I have to be honest, when I first started using these I really didn't like the way they sound. The default sound signature is very treble heavy and they sound what I like to call scratchy and by this I mean the voice and the percussion and everything so, seem so tinny and loud that they seem a bit uncomfortable to listen to. Now I thought this problem was going to be a real deal breaker because there's no way I could listen to them the way they come out of the box. But then I realised that if you go onto things like Spotify and Apple Music, you actually can manipulate the sound signatures uh, and you also have a graphic equaliser on Spotify. So I just went into those settings and changed them for things that were a little bit bass heavy. Like on Apple Music I used the bass booster and this solved the issue. And once I'd done that I was so impressed with how they sound, especially as they're such a cheap product. Now, 
Like I said, I was really concerned at the start, but once I'd done this, I had no issues at all. So we get back to the age old question, are they actually worth the money? And for me, that I think they've got so many good things going for them. They look good, they feel well made, they're sweat resistant, you get six hours battery life. So there's so many positive things about these earphones. But the deal breaker, like I said before, is the default sound setting. Now if, like me, you have an app or a phone where you can go in and change the sound signature, like the Graphic Equalizer on Spotify or Apple Music, then these are definitely, definitely worth the money. If you haven't, then I personally wouldn't like this, uh, the default sound setting, so I'd probably steer clear. But most modern day devices will have some sort of feature to let you change the way they sound. So, as I said, if you have got that feature, then I'd by all means recommend this. For £20, they just have so much going for them. So once again, I'd like to thank you for checking out our videos. If you like them, please subscribe to our channel. We'll have many more product reviews coming soon. You could like our videos. And please follow us on Twitter, we are at Frugal Gaming. And you can also find our video game deal website at frugalgaming.co.uk. So thanks again and I'll see you on the next video.